So it's very dynamic the way they do it in, in Westworld. So if you don't want to do that spin, you kind of notice I kind of stumble a little bit. It, it's a lot. You've got to spin, move to the side, and then block, and then land at the same time. So if you don't want to do that, let's do the first couple strikes. So, so you're going to dodge to the right, dodge to the left, dodge back. Here it goes. You step to the left. What you can do is he's going to come in with a 12. You can step back and then do the uh, do the 12 block. We so, notice that you're doing it both overhand, yeah, like an H. So, yeah, it's because uh, when he's doing all those strikes, 
Uh, Musashi is still kind of in defense mode, so he kind of still has his, uh, his blade kind of holstered a little bit. Um, so right there, that's the last part where he has both his hands on the handle. From here, he pushes forward, and then kind of like how we do with CMJ, right? Then you go into the standard grip. Okay, so let me do that one more time. So from the beginning, boom, right, left, back, left, boom. So when you push forward, you kind of have to do a little trick there, you know, switch the grip. So it's going from here, and then you can kind of go into that standard grip that everybody uh, second level, so that's beginner, right? If you still want to do the spin without the jump, so from the beginning, right, left, back, you're still stepping to the left, and you can do a spin without jumping. And then the same thing, etc. Et so forth. All right. Thanks. So we do the five hundred one more time. So just watch real quick. Do the five. So, so left forward. I'm coming forward, and then I'm coming back, and then block. Are we stepping with our attacks, or are we staying pretty static? You can. It's it's intended to be stepping with your attacks. We've been doing it tight just to keep everything in camera range because this this can take up a lot of space. So if, if we're gonna actually be doing it, you know, full full range, I'm stepping with each one, and I'm pursuing them with each one. Oh, okay. But for now, we're just staying static. But for now, we're, we're, we're still yeah. learning it. Just keep it static. Okay. So let's go through that all the way through the twelve. All right. You ready? Address your opponents. Seven complete, step right. One complete, step left. Nine complete, step back, dodge. Oh, it's good. Spread. Five complete, step left. Twelve, Twelve. step back, dodge. All right, that's good. Let's do that one more time. All right, you ready? Address. Seven complete. One complete. Nine complete, five complete, twelve lock. All right. Yeah. Can we rip through them over and over? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go through this. Um, question. Question. Sorry. All right. We got zero. There should be like a bow of this or something. All right. So right now we are at a twelve lock. Musashi's gonna do is just, just gonna, watch for knockbacks. Just watch for knockbacks. So now what Musashi's gonna do is he's gonna kind of push over, push off a little bit to get a little distance. But Tanaka's still gonna come in with a one complete, a zero, which which um, Musashi carries left to right, and then a seven, and then a one, which becomes a sticky. So, we're here to 12 complete, push off, 1, 0, 7, 1, 6, Alright, so, everybody get into the 12 block. Alright. Musashi, give it a little push. And Tanaka's can take a, a half step back just to get a little bit more distance so you're not going to hit him. And then go into a one. Complete. One complete all the way down. Then you go into a zero thrust. So we're, we're kind of close. We're going to be thrusting at their right shoulder. And then Musashi is going to parry out left to right. And then from here, we're going to go into a seven, and then into a one. Six, six. Okay. That's, that's 
seven. Is that I can put the Yeah, it's got to Bring the blade all the way over to the other way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, parts with uh, Musashi here, because it, it's a little bit dynamic and a lot of things are happening. Uh, so, it, it, it's going to take some practice. So, to go from that 12 here, it's a little bit awkward to kind of come into that. So, it's almost like it kind of it kind of hops in your hand a little bit. That, so, that push off that Musashi does gives him the opportunity to go from here. this awkward grip to an actual grip and then go into the one. So, when he does his push off, switch grip, block the one. To the zero, because then you're over here, but you, then the next move is a seven, so oh, you have your blade back over here on this side. Yeah. So, so, what yeah. he was saying is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, so what uh, Kelly was saying is that, so, I, uh, so let, let's do it from real quick. So, so, I'm doing pushing off, one. So, I'm going to, so now my saber's to the left. He comes in with the side left to right. What I do is I come around, I bring it around. Bring it around your head? Yeah, so, and then to come in for that seven bash. That's what I was trying to do, okay. if it was over or under, how you were bringing it uh, back to yeah, the other so, side. So real slow motion, boom. So it's to my right, I come around, I bring it around town, and then <laughs> left. Because if it's right. Bring it around all over like that. Yeah. Okay, I got you. So, it around uh, also, yeah. another, another quick thing before we move on is that so when you're bringing it around, try to keep it downwards. Try to keep not, don't try to flare it out because you know we, we talk about distance here a lot. So don't don't. It's not a helicopter motion. So you bring it back around and then you, you come in with that seven back. <coughs> Seven one thousand. Takes a little bit of practice. We'll run through it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So you're at the twelve block. All right. You slash and push off into a one complete zero. Round town. Round town. It's a seven bash. Okay. And then one block. Alright, go back to the 12 block. Alright, push off. One, eight, zero, seven, one, one. Take these Okay. Good. Yeah. Alright, so I'll I'll call off the numbers. Everybody keep on practicing. From the 12? From the 12. Alright. On the next portion. So, we're here at a one lock, which, as I said, is a sticky stick. Just watch for now. So, so, our normal one, we're both at one here right in front of us. What Musashi's going to do is he's going to push his blade down and to the left, taking it off center. So, here, Tanaka is vulnerable because he can just turn his blade right into me. So what Tanaka's going to do is he's just going to push and disengage. So this gives Musashi the initiative here. So Musashi's going to come straight in with a 4-8-4-8. Four, eight, four, eight. So that's where we're going to stop. So come to this one lock, right in the middle to start. And then we're going to do the six stick push down and pull left. So Musashi is pushing down and pull left. So we're here. Now, Tanaka, push off and just disengage. Just stick like a full step between the two. When Musashi then comes in, 4 8 4 eight. So with that, with that sticky stick and push, you don't want to go way too far to the left. It, it's really just a few inches, just a few inches to the to, to your left as Musashi. Um, and then another thing, when he when when that break happens, Musashi don't step back because that's your advantage as a fighter. That's your advantage. He broke off. You're, you're, that's why he's coming in. So just a little bit to the left when you push off. Don't step, he's stepping back, you're not as Musashi. General step back, Musashi's don't. And then four, eight, four, eight. taking a 
a step with each strike because he's trying to take care, take advantage of that opening. Yep. All right. So everybody go into the one block. Sticky stick, push down to the left. All right. Now general, push off. Musaki, four. Eight, four, eight. All right. So pretty, pretty simple sequence not there. Down. So if, if you get the sticky stick down, that's a really easy sequence. So let's go yes. just real quickly. So um, Musashi is aim, aiming at the hips. Correct. Right? Correct. Four, eight, four, eight, keeping the, the hilt above you as it's looked at before it's four eights. Okay. All right. So um, one thing, when you guys are on that lock, uh, as far as the Musashi's in, uh, you don't want to tilt your blade forward. It, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a par parallel. Keep it parallel, because when you push off, you don't want to have that tip of the blade go down. So just so the one. So you're keeping it almost like you're blocking a uh, a three. So you're, you're keeping it, so when you push off, it should be, it should stay uh, uh, up, up perpendicular or parallel, I should say. That's, that's a good way to think about it, is you're going from a one into a, into a three block. Right. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. All right, so let's go from the beginning again. Beginning, beginning, beginning. Go from the very start. All right. Let's get that. Address your opponent. Seven complete. Step to the right. One complete. Step to the left. Nine complete. Back. Five complete. Step to the left. Twelve left. Push off. One complete. Zero. Seven back. One block. Sticky stick. Push off to the left. Disengage. Four. Eight. Four, eight. Recover, let's do that again from the start. Woo! Good. 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 Yeah. All right, so let's go into the next second. <laughs> so, this second, this second takes a little bit of uh, work with your opponent. So like I said, when we were going back and forth here, um, this is where we do the thrust that gets carried up. So this is really a dangerous move because if you're not timing it right, you could actually get carried into your person's nose. So you really want to start angling away when you're doing your thrust on this board. So let's let's get there first. Just just watch this for now. So um, we're gonna do we're gonna do the the one lock. Push off four eight. Four, eight. Now here, Tanaka tries to come in with a one. And then they're both gonna attack each other. So this is where, we, where we're doing the nine, seven batch. So General is going with a nine, while Musashi's going with a seven batch. So what we're doing is we're both swinging and meeting in the middle for our batches. So everybody, let's let's do this right now. Let's let's practice these back a little bit. So what you want to do is, general, start off on this side over here, and Musashi start on that side over there. To the left. So, right. So what we're going to do is, general, slowly swing a nine. Musashi slowly swing a seven, and practice meeting in the middle. Just tapping the blade. Practice over and over again, getting that distance, and getting just that little bit of contact with your opponent. Just do it over and over again. We're going to go through this um, slowly. So, we're here at Push down, disengage, four, eight, four, eight. All right, so one, 
Now I'm just seven. Right? And now Musashi's gonna attack with four. And this is kind of like a, a four lock. Um, it's not a full lock, you just want to pause for just a second, because then what I'm going to try to do, and this is where we're doing the thrust, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage my blade and then thrust at his shoulder, which he carries up. Uh, and then, so on Misashi's side, uh, so when you do that four and he comes back, do not leave your blade there. Do not leave your blade at the four. Because you have to kind of bring it down to kind of almost like cocking it back, like for a punch. You're coming down, and when he comes in, you you parry it up. So it's like so four, right? Down, up, and so then so stop for a second. So if, if it's, there's no one there, so four, down, up, four, middle, down, ready for the block, and then up. So actually parry it up. Takes and, it's a little tricky. And what, Mus and what Tanaka is doing is, from this four, he's just drawing back and thrusting forward. Yeah, so when, so when General draws back, that's when you guys are, are coming up ready for, the, for that block, for that parry. So, four, draw back, thrust. So, one more time. Four, draw back, thrust. And then, as I mentioned, you want to be really careful with your thrusts. So, if we're coming here at the four, don't move, Alexis. What I do is I draw back and I thrust, not even close to him. So, I'm thrusting past his head. So, even if he comes down and parries it up, I'm still not going to hit him. The only way that I would hit him is if he tries to, like, do kind of like a spin. Right. <laughs> so, which isn't great. So, you want to keep the, the saber in front of you, so you don't want to do anything fancy. Just so let's down and up. let's do a little bit of this practice as well. So let's come into this four, and then generals draw back. Masashi's down. Masashi's down. General thrust above their head. And Musashi's carry it up. <laughs> Go back to four. Almost like you have to raise this level. Yeah. I'm trying to raise it like this, and we're going to smash. General, draw back. General, draw back. General, thrust. And then when it's over my head, we're going to turn it. Start turning it. Back to four. General, draw back. Musashi's down. General, thrust. How does that feel for everybody? Awesome. <laughs> there you go. All right. So um, let's let's start with the uh, let's start with the one lock. So everybody start with the one lock. Push Musashi push down to the left. General disengage. Four. Eight. Four. Eight. All right. So now we go one, complete, nine, seven, bash. Four, Musashi four. General pull back. Down Musashi. Uh -huh. General thrust. Down Musashi. And that's the end of it right there. All right. So let's go back to the, let's move back and we'll do all right, one lock, push down to the left, disengage, four, eight, four, eight, one, three, nine, seven, back, four, general draw back, down, general thrust, and hold. All right. All right, everybody, let's hold. Come back to the middle. All right, so we're almost done. We're almost done. So what we've done is we've done this thrust and very up. So now the general is wide open. 
the general is completely open to attack, so Musashi is going to take take advantage of that. He's going to come in with a seven, five, and then a special move. So this can be whatever whatever you want it to be. But for the pope, for the purpose of this, when I was going through and doing the annotation, um, I kind of found a, a pretty cool thing that he does when he does this, and we'll demonstrate that right now. So right here. We're kind of locked into a, a five. What Musashi does is he spins into general. And then does just kind of like a, a shoulder check or an elbow check or whatever, pushing the general off his balance and down. So at this point, um, general comes down to a knee. And Musashi comes in with a finishing 12, which is blocked by the general. So right here, we're at a lock. It's a, it's a 12 lock. General reaches down, grabs a hand of sand, throws it in Musashi's face, and gets up. And that's the end of it. So, we're here from the parry up. We come into a seven, five, spin into a push. General comes down, 12 lock, sand. Recovery. Yes. Um, two questions. One, how do you make sure on both both people you don't get clocked in the chin, right? And um, and you don't trip over each other, right? Because you're, you're so close on that spin. Um, and then secondly, for those who have bad knees that can't come down, what do we do? Okay, so off your butt. <laughs> what? <It's worse. laughs> so when you when you are Let's, let's, let's start with the first question first. So we're coming in, we have the seven, the five, making sure that we don't get clocked in the, in the mouth. Um, oh, well, just, I'm sorry, before that, are we switching grips to an inverted grip, or uh, is it fine? Too? Okay, so this is, I actually asked that question, because uh, technically in, in, the, in the video, in the actual fight, I believe he knocks it away. I believe he actually knocks it away which then gives him the spin. Um, as we were just kind of going over it, it just felt right to kind of keep it locked there. I don't know why, it's just kind of been an unspoken thing. Um, so you keep it locked there, but yeah, you want to go into an inverted, I do an inverted one grip because I have to leave this hand open to be able to spin into him. When does that switch happen? Uh, so seven, the seven bash is a regular grip. Then when I come in for the five, you can either switch there, right there where you have it locked, or as as you're coming in for the five. So I like to do it as I'm coming in. Um, so it's just kind of whatever you feel comfortable with. You can because you're still locked there, so it gives you an extra second to from there make sure it's there, and then come in for the special. Um, to answer your other question, to not do a spin, um, I think we could probably do like a force push. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, can, so you can totally just go like this, force push down. And, and if you have bad knees, then you don't have to go all the way down the knee. You can just kind of like recoil back. Musashi's falling up with a 12, so you're still coming here. And you know, you don't have to reach down for sand. You can force push him right back. You got sip powder. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Let's go into a the pose where just after you got carried up. So, carried up. Okay. All right. So Musashi comes in with a seven, a five, a lock, and now you do a special. What are the special you want to do? General, general recoils back, at this point, and Musashi follows up with a 12. So at this point, it's a 12. It's you block, and and then Tanaka comes in with a special, <laughs> knocks him back, <laughs> and recovers, and gets ready. Uh, for those keeping um, the, the inverted grip, I keep that inverted, inverted grip all the way up to the 12. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the 7, right? So 7. <coughs> inverted grip, special, boom, I'm still in the inverted grip, and I'm coming up to the 12, 
then I'll put, I'll put my other hand on the, when I have them in the 12, then I'll put my other hand, because, you know, if, if this was like a real fight, you, you want to get past the defense, so you want to use, you know, every all you got. So, just one more time, real quick, just what I'm talking about, just out of parentheses. So, seven, inverted grip, five, boom, and here it comes. And then I step forward also, I step forward into that, because again, you want to, Try to break his. I'm trying to kill him, essentially. Yeah. So I'm trying to. I'm trying. Ah, oh, I got you. Like you're not going anywhere. So. All right. So let's go back to the uh, carry out. Two sides and seven. Yes. Seven. Five. Two sides. He follows up with the twelve. Lock. Tanaka, special. <laughs> um, and then one other thing, just for added flair. Um, so of course, in the actual fight, he does the sand. I mean, we're mixing it up because we're doing different four specials and stuff like that. But he he does a sand attack. So when he does that sand attack, right? You wait for his cue, and then I'm stepping back. I kind of do two or three steps. So one, two. And I also do a, um, a, a reverse uh, forward eight with because I still stay with the inverted grip because that's just my style. So because in the in the actual fight he goes like like that he's like slashing the forward leg to make sure that he doesn't come forward. So that's why if you see me do that you can do that as well. But at that point it's just extra sprinkles on top. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do that one more time and we'll run through the whole thing. Okay, again.